Thank you for waking up with us this morning. It's a beautiful, cool Tuesday, 9th April 2013, and we're still on the road. We're here in Fitches Creek at the magnificent property of Clement Samuel, very well manicured, absolutely beautiful, and we have a lot in store for you today and a lot of beautiful things around, huge fishes and dogs, turtles, a galore of uh, rabbits, uh, you name it. Everything is right here on this property. And remember that um, you can take us with you. We're in live on 90.5 FM. And also with me are my two dear gentlemen, Dave Lester Payne and William Dorset. Good morning, world. Of course, uh, she didn't tell you about the pit bulls that we encountered when we got in here. I tell you, it's like a forest up here. This is not a backyard garden. This is a farm. <laughs> it's good morning, Antigua Barbuda. We want your involvement, and you can do so through GMEB Show at gmail.com, or you can telephone us at 462-463-18. William Dorset, has got the scripture verse of the day. All right, our scripture verse uh, comes to you for all those who are listening and viewing to us this morning. 1 Corinthians 15, 2. And it talks about what saves us. And it's all about the faith that we would have and understanding that, as the scripture says here, by this gospel you are saved. If you hold firmly to the word that I've preached to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. Understanding that it's by faith we are, are saved uh, through the, the Jesus Christ, of course, uh, who is indeed God himself. And uh, because of the actions that he took on the cross in terms of dying for our sins, that redemption was paid for our transgressions. And that's reasons why we're saved through faith. Before we go into Dr. Ken, Ned, I think it's rather breathtaking. Uh, this is the first Absolutely. time I've been here. Absolutely. And uh, first I wanted to know if it was a mini hotel. <laughs> uh, 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 but, but when I look around, I see that uh, God blessed Antigua and Barbuda. Mm -hmm. yes. Mother Nature has been kind yes. to us. Yes. We've so, got good soil. So we will endeavor to explore this place later on. But right now, here's some motivation. One minute with Dr. Ken Ned. The great philosopher Goethe said, whatever you think of, begin it. Boldness has genius, magic, and power in it. So what are you thinking of now? You see, you're going to have to take action. If it kills you, this program is going to get you to be rich. So think, what is it that you can do and be bold enough. Don't let someone else walk away with your dream. Boldness is magic. I'm Dr. Ken Ned. Permit me if I gave you the wrong information about the dog, but they're what? Dogo Argentina's, Argentina's day. Dogo. William knows his Listen, thing. Those are some soldiers. <laughs> a little bigger breed Hello, than what William, you would normally see. William, if we <laughs> want to be at a place where we are rather secure, uh -huh. this however is temporarily, <laughs> this is the place to be. Fine as he would have had the body pond too. Fine here, and yes, you'll of I course be secured today. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, tranquil uh, property so we say thanks to clement joseph for uh, allowing us to be able to ex clement Samuel, sorry uh, to allowing us to be able to explore his property it's you will all right so here we go as we progress right here on our good morning antigua barbuda it's time to get updated as we will be sharing with you information about this property and all the things that will be happening for this week as we explore all the agricultural facilities here's an update in terms of our headlines from Sherilyn Beza. good morning Sherilyn. Good morning once again, and we're looking at the stories topping this morning's newscast at 7. Food security and hunger, a top priority for the Ministry of Agriculture. 
and the Ministry of Health begins a disaster preparedness awareness program. We now join Leonard Josiah on the telephone line for our Caribbean travel weather forecast. Good morning, Leonard. How are you this morning? Well, not bad at all. Good morning to you guys. Good morning to Antigua and Barbuda. We continue to note that there is, there is some patches of clouds and pockets of moisture still, still over the Atlantic Ocean. Radar right now is showing some, uh, some rain over Barbuda and Further towards, uh, further towards the west. So definitely, these patches of clouds have in them the, uh, just some brief passing showers. And that is going to be generally the forecast, not only for Antigua and Barbuda, but for the rest of the Leeward Islands and the British Virgin Islands. Islands further towards the west similarly will have the, the same weather conditions, and islands further towards the south will have these brief uh, interruptions to normal weather conditions during the course of the day. So we're looking for generally partly cloudy skies throughout the whole region, becoming increasingly cloudy at times with just some brief passing showers, and it will be clearing up again, and some clouds will return again. So that is what the order of the day is likely to be throughout the whole Eastern Caribbean. Temperature-wise, today we are forecasting that for us here in Antigua and Barbuda, 29 degrees or 84 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're traveling towards the south, it will be slightly warmer in the region of 31 degrees Celsius or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're traveling towards the west, uh, temperatures should be hovering just about 29 or 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Or we could even get a spot of 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for the islands further towards the west. The seas are not bad at all. We are, we're looking at peak swells in the region of just about six feet, mainly to the east of the island chain. But in the Caribbean Sea West, the seas are quite manageable. But we continue to maintain a caution for the seas are just marginally safe for operations, particularly on the eastern side of the island. So as you travel throughout the region today, we always say travel and have a great day. Thank you, Leonard. We also hope that you have a wonderful day also. Yeah. I think my okay. day is really great. It's starting out really well on Clement Samuel's property. Quite a bit here. Iguanas, turtles, galore, rabbits in galore, some huge fish. You'll see. Anyway, our Caribbean travel day is made possible by our sponsors, State Insurance Corporation. Once your vehicle is insured with State Insurance Corporation, you'll receive our AutoPlus service absolutely, absolutely free. free. It will come in handy when you need it the most. AutoPlus gets you back on your way. State Insurance Corporation, for your protection and our economy. Do remember to join me at 7 for the news in detail. reasons why we live and that's life we celebrate birthdays anniversaries just to say love uh, i love you to someone and uh, just to say i love clement samuel's property as well you can do just that <laughs> great reasons why we are here well oh, we started off dave you want to kick it off what yeah, you got i just want to say a very special good morning to wendy tittle who is hanging out with us this week as we yeah. of course uh, focus on the ministry of agriculture She's on team this week and things agricultural and we get into the birthday part of this say happy birthday to harriet baptist from her family and friends especially her coco who loves her very much and uh, wish you all the best and uh, she said thanks god we're also saying happy birthday to of course uh, we know her as keisha but is uh, la keisha matthew a member of staff celebrating her birthday today greetings from your entire home circle they say cut your cake and celebrate well i know shannon jarvis cut her cake and celebrated yesterday yesterday was shannon jarvis birthday so belated birthday greetings to you shannon and happy birthday to of course la keisha matthew we just call it teacher matthew 
All right, we've got birthday greetings going out to Jakira Griffith uh, on this beautiful day, 9th of uh, April 4, as you celebrate your birthday, coming from your mom, Karen, and it says mom, Karen, and Courtney. So I hope that it's dad, Courtney. <laughs> Not two moms. All right, so there you have it. Uh, uh, enjoy your day, and may God continue to bless you. You got any birthday greetings there? Um, no, 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 no. All right, well, here's today. one. Sure we do. Uh, you take the one, ease my burden, and you give me back this paper. So here we go. I wish to send birthday greetings to my two beautiful, wonderful, loving daughters, Tanishka and Tanika Martin of Villa Area, who's celebrating their birthdays today. And it's coming from their sister, Chakia, brother Kojo Jr. Kojo Jr., mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Lingfield Martin, telling them to have fun and enjoy their day, and you are very much loved. All so right. happy you're Harriet Baptist. Enjoy your birthday. Uh, coming from Coco, uh, Keisha Machu, Lakeisha Machu, celebrating her birthday today. Greetings are coming in from your children, and of course, all of us here at ABS. You got more? Yeah, well, no, I just had to double up on the Harriet there, so we <laughs> want to say thanks to those uh, persons who would have sent in your birthday greetings. Just know that you can do so. It's gmabshow at gmail.com is our email address. Let us know who's celebrating in your life, or just say I love you to someone. Well, it's just about time as we take a break before our news at the top of the seven o'clock hour we've got with us their own uh, property owner and that's our clement samuel he's going to tell us a little bit about his backyard garden and f as a farmer all the things that he gets done here as he would maximize the potential of the soil that he has are uh, on his land title we'll be right back dave gets a chance to sit with him ah! you went shopping Things tight. We really need to save money. <laughs> this soup mix thing really save. We have plenty money. Super mix bundles from APUA and CTV. Super speeds. Super channels. Super saving. Bundles start from two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Visit or call APUA or CTV today. So, you got anything for me? Sale, sale, sale. Shoe Palace announces its hot, hot sale sale. It's the biggest blowout sale ever, with discounts ranging from 40 to 70% off all major brands. Great bargains on Reebok sneakers for the entire family. Children's sneakers for as low as $69. Ladies' sneakers from as low as $99. And men's sneakers also starting at $99. New arrivals in Nike footwear. Come check out unbelievably low prices. Wide selection of Air Force, Air Jordan, Sweet Classic, and many more styles. Prices to suit every pocket. Converse sneakers, 30 to 50% off in every color and style. Just arrived, the largest selection of new balance sneakers available in the most stunning array of colors. Come on, ladies, we have the best selection of gym shoes. And for the men, we have sneakers available up to size 15. We also have a beautiful selection of Adidas shell toe sneakers for the men. Check out a fabulous collection of apple bottom footwear for ladies. Prices are drastically slashed, 30 to 70% off. Prices start as low as $49. Our famous comfort shoes by Naturalizer and Life Stride for the ladies are reduced by 30 to 50% off. Prices start as low as $79. Also, GBX casual and dress shoes for men are at the unbelievably low price of $99. That's 50% off. So don't miss it. The hottest clearance sale of the year at Shoe Palace. Rush down and take advantage of these blowout prices. Shoe Palace, Redwood Street. Welcome back to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. This week we are focusing on the Ministry of Agriculture and you hear they talk about backyard garden. And uh, th th this, this is not a typical backyard garden. Uh, we say a very special good morning to Mr. Clement Samuel. How are you, sir? Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, Clement, I just want you to tell me, what first, what did you do here first? Did you inherit this place? <laughs> or, no. or Just tell me, because no. we need to know. No, we've been here now. Um, this August is going to make 25 years. 25 years. And so it's been 25 years in the making. Okay, so you didn't just move on to this property. No. Okay. We've been we, here for a while. We have rabbits. 
we have birds, a big banana behind here. Uh -huh. <clears throat> now, the average home or household, they've got a small space. Mm -hmm. But although this is a large place, you can, the, the, we can identify with what you can do as far as backyard is concerned. Well, I'm I hoping, like, you're hoping you're a country boy like me. So, you know, I like having animals around. I like doing things. These were the sort of stuff that my dad insisted that I do when I was a child. So it's just, it just stayed with me. Hold this microphone up. No how, how, how does, uh, I don't know if Grace Farm, Green Bay, uh, pacifier as a country boy but they say st john so all right as, as country as you can get no problem because i had a lot of cooks and we had five we had all those places to roam but just tell the folks at home uh there's a rabbit running all over the place this is a this is not a regular farm talk to me about well, I wouldn't, this i wouldn't really say that i would call it my farm you know we joke around at home and we call it my plantation oh, that, that's but a better <laughs> word the plantation let's work uh, with the plantation but you know, here we've got rabbits and, you know, this, what you see here, this facility here is no more than a, just about a year old. Mm -hmm. And that was when my sons and I started um, having some rabbits. We started out with two and very quickly the rabbits started multiplying. And so we had to build something, you know, to accommodate them. At the moment, we know within a year, we now have um, about a hundred rabbits and we sell some of them for pets and we actually supply a few of the hotels with uh, meat. Okay. So it's, you know, it's something that's sustainable and something that other persons, backyard persons could do. Boy, from the animals, what sort of vegetables and fruits do you have here? Uh, permit me, the, this fence, is that a perimeter fence or back there is what you use, you use, utilize also? I utilize behind okay, so there It also. is a plantation. <laughs> so, so point the camera back there, this backyard garden, get that out of the way. <laughs> they told me I was coming to a backyard garden. First time I'm coming on your property. Uh -huh. The entrance, I was greeted with some fellows. I got the correct name for them. Uh -huh. They look rather healthy. <laughs> I uh, guess. And, and they <laughs> are? They're my, my dogs. Yeah, uh, but the name, William um, told me before. We've got, uh, well, the types of dogs. I've got a Neapolitan Mastiff. I have a Dogo Argentino. I've got a Presa Canario mixed with a Neapolitan, and I have um, a Pitbull. People buy them puppies, eh? Yes, they do. They buy the puppy, eh? Definitely, and I've got pups at the moment. I've They're good watch. I've got 14 pups for sale at the moment. For sale? Yes, Okay, that's I have four dogs in my home, and I don't need any more. So, folks, if you want <laughs> puppies to buy, Clement have them. Clement, let's get into the actual vegetables mm -hmm. and uh, some of the, the good things that one can have, uh, because I don't see you going to the market very often, at least the vegetable market. Not even the meat market, because you can live on rabbit meat. <laughs> Go right ahead. Well, uh, it, it's been quite dry, mm. and so I'm not at the production I would normally be at. But at the moment, if you know the camera were to go you know, just ahead of me, mm -hmm. I have um, parsley growing, mm -hmm. I have um, celery. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, I also have some heliconias. Mm -hmm. um, these are the flowers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can, you, you can sell those. Mm -hmm. um, just west of us, or just beyond the fence, mm -hmm. I've got some tomatoes, and I've just seen just this week We've got some blossoms on them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would say in the next, you know, six weeks, I should be reaping tomatoes um, here. And then if we look just behind me, I have got um, green bananas. Mm -hmm. And just beyond that, I've got um, some of the best collection of plantains um, on the island. I have about nine different species. Okay. Now, d d 25 years ago, I don't know if they had, they were stimulating this agricultural products and promoting backyard gardening. Mm -hmm. But your dad. Uh, a former minister of mm. agriculture. Was he a former minister of agriculture? That's correct. Yeah, yes. okay. Former minister of agriculture instilled some, of course, uh, valuable lessons mm -hmm. in his children. Uh, you're an attorney at law. Uh, yes. But, but, but you, 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 you are the communications... Telecommunications officer. Telecommunications officer. And uh, you get time for the backyard? Oh, yes, I do. I mean, this is how I relax. This mm -hmm. is how I de-stress myself mm -hmm. after a day. And this is what I do in the morning before I go to, to work. So I always joke and say to them, look, when I come to work in the morning, it's not that I have nothing else to do. <laughs> it's because I really want to work because I've got so many other things at home that I enjoy doing. Okay, while you're enjoying all that and doing all that, this property is rather unique mm -hmm. because I, I stood in a lawn this morning. Mm -hmm. That was rather impressive. <laughs> uh, tell us, the other functions that can be hosted here? Yeah, um, my wife, from time to time, we have had persons approach us and have access to have you know, certain events. Um, sometimes they will have you know, maybe a wedding and we, we, do a, we do a few of those. And what we find it does, it um, always forces us 